This is Corey Dutton. I'm a private money lender and you're looking for a hard money loan. I decline hard money loans all the time as a private money lender. Watch this video to learn how to not be declined and how to get your loan approved quickly. Reason number one that I typically will decline a hard money loan, the borrower of the loan is not going to make a profit on the investment purchase. An example, I have a rehabber that I do loans for quite often, Don, and he came to me with a rehab fix and flip purchase in the downtown area of Salt Lake City. And I declined that loan. And why? Because I discovered that Don wasn't going to make any profit. He was paying too much for the property and the cost of the rehab together with the purchase price, he just wouldn't have made any money on the resale. So I declined that loan. And again, why, what was the reason that I declined Don for that loan? It was because Don was not going to make enough of a profit on that property. Reason number two that I will decline a hard money loan as a private money lender, not enough cash combined with not enough experience. I will lend to beginners. That is to say, I will lend to uh, those who don't have any experience. But what I won't do is make a loan to someone who has no experience combined with no cash. That's a no-go. A good story uh, to share with you, an example here is a story of Hudson. Hudson was trying to buy a residential lot development. Essentially, he was trying to buy some land, uh, land with no houses, but the potential to build some houses on it. What was the problem with this loan? Well, Hudson didn't have either cash or experience. He had never done a residential lot purchase and development before, and he only had 5% down. In this case, I declined that loan. Why? Again, because Hudson did not have any cash combined with no experience. The number three reason that I'll decline a hard money loan, if it's a consumer loan. And what is a consumer loan? A consumer loan is any loan to a person who lives in a home for with, with which they intend to use as collateral for a loan and the proceeds of that loan will be for household or consumer per personal purposes. And so let me give you an example. We had an unfortunate story. A couple had gotten behind on their mortgage payments on their home. Uh, the loan amount was $88,000, but the property value was $220,000. So this couple had a ton of equity in this property. Unfortunately, again, they had fallen behind on their mortgage payments. They had come to us for a loan to get caught up on those mortgage payments so that the lender would not be able to foreclose on them and take that property away. Unfortunately, that is a consumer loan. And for hard money lenders like myself, just not a loan that we are interested in doing at all. For that reason, I declined that loan. And again, why? Because that was a consumer loan. And most hard money lenders like myself, we don't do consumer loans. Reason number four that I will commonly decline a hard money loan is that the property is not titled in the name of the person who is trying to obtain the loan. And let me give you an example because a lot of people don't understand that in order to be able to get a loan on a property, it has to be titled in your name. Sherry had come to us for a loan on a fourplex that she had inherited from her father about a year prior. She was looking to get some money, uh, a loan in the form of a loan to do some repairs to the fourplex so that she could get a higher rent on the property. When we did a title report, we discovered that the property was still held in the name of Sherry's father, who she had inherited it from. Uh, we were able to make the loan ultimately, but it did take a little while for the property to go through 
probate, which means when a deceased person passes on a property to their heir, it actually has to go through a legal process before it's in the person's name that inherited it. And in this case, it took several months uh, for us to be able to eventually do that loan. Now, you must know that if you are going out to get a loan and the property's titled in, say, your wife's name or your husband's name, and it's not in your name, although you're the one that's looking to get the loan, you won't be able to get that loan unless the title's actually in your name. The loan would need to be in the name of your spouse if it was in the property, in fact, was in your spouse's name and you were the one that was seeking the loan. Reason number five, too many liens on the property. And what is a lien? A lien is any legal claim against a property uh, that puts almost a mark on title to let the world know, hey, here I am, I need to be taken care of, I need to be paid. Uh, the, the most common example is taxes. Taxes are an involuntary lien that are often placed on the property that must be settled with the IRS or your state uh, tax agencies before you can sell a property or refinance it. A good example is we had a borrower that came to us for a loan recently and it, Ted had a property that he believed he owned free and clear of any debt. He did not have a mortgage on the property um, and claimed to have no other liens. However, when we pulled the title report on the property and they did a title search, we discovered that Ted had $100,000 in tax liens and other involuntary liens, such as alimony and child support type liens that he was unaware of. So in this case, we were unable to make a loan to Ted because there were just too many liens on the property. If you're looking for a loan against a property and you are unaware of any liens that may be against it, you may want to run a title report to discover if there are liens that are going to prevent you from getting a loan on that property. And reason number six that I most commonly decline hard money loans, the properties are located in rural locations. And what do I mean by that? I mean that the population size of the location, the city, the town, where the property is located, the population size is usually under 5,000 residents, 5,000 people. So in that case, I may or may not decline the loan. A good example of one that we had recently was a property located uh, in a town with a population of 3,000. And in this case, it wasn't a resort community. It wasn't in a prime location like on a lake or on the ocean. Um, it was in a town that was out in the middle of nowhere. And in this case, the property was too, in a too rural of a location and the population size in this case was too small. So if you're buying a property or you own a property that's located in a rural location with a population of less than 5,000, you may be declined for a hard money loan as well. Well, this is Corey Dutton. I'm a private money lender. And today I just wanted to share with you the most common reasons that I have declined hard money loans. This should help you to not be declined yourself for a hard money loan and will also help you to get approved for a hard money loan quicker. Uh, if you liked this video, please like it. If you found it useful and you think that someone you know could benefit from this, please share it. And if you have any questions about why I declined these hard money loans and the stories that I described here, please leave them in the comment section below.